world is stunned and saddened by the apparent suicide of chef and TV host Anthony Bourdain. He was found dead at his hotel room in France. Tonight, his grieving mother told the New York Times he's the last person in the world she would have ever dreamed of doing something like this. He was in France to film an episode of his CNN show, Anthony Bourdain, Parts Unknown. The friend who discovered his body told Bourdain's mom he had been in a really dark mood. Well, Detroit lost a friend with the passing of Bourdain. He fell in love with the Motor City during visits that put us in the national spotlight. Tonight, 7 Action News reporter Brian Abel has been talking to people who knew the influential chef. A difficult day for many here in Detroit, including those in the food industry like Dooley's here, whose lives were touched by Anthony Bourdain as he showcased Detroit to the world. Five years ago. It's where nearly everything American and great came from. Anthony Bourdain's CNN Parts Unknown showed the world what Detroiters already knew. That there's beauty. That was good. And some darn good food in the Motor City. But the delicate interplay between these ingredients when done right is symphonic. That was Dooley's place. And after news that Bourdain was found dead in France after an apparent suicide, employees at the Coney shop are remembering what they call the humble TV superstar. There's no fabrication. The way you see him, the way you talk to him is just the way how he was. And before you know it, you know, you're ready to take a trip. Cafe de Mongo's owner Larry Mongo, whose brother Adolph was featured in the CNN episode, recalls why Bourdain resonated with Detroit and beyond. Well, you have to die, di die deep to get that clown with the pearl in it. And he was always looking for the pearl. He wanted that rare pearl. And again, he came to Detroit and guess what he found? A black pearl. <laughs> the world lost a friend. The fixer, Flowers of Vietnam's George Azar, the Detroiter who helped guide the episode, says the city left a mark on the 61-year-old. We made an impact on him more than I think we think he made an impact on us. We affected him in ways that he'll never, he never forgot. In one form or another, a city this magnificent, this storied, this American cannot, will not ever disappear into the weeds. Nor will the legacy of Anthony Bourdain. In Detroit, Brian Abel, 7 Action News. Thank you so much, Brian. We want to remind you that there is help out there for suicide prevention. Here is the number for the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline, which is available 24 hours every single day. It's 1-800-273-8255. We've also posted a list of resources on our website, WXYZ.com.